Hey, howdy, hey there, folks. Welcome on back to West of Love. My name is Bear. We are here at the Lost Dutch Oven Mine. It's stinky. Actually, gonna go talk to uh, my, my partner, Pete, real quick. We want to figure out what to do. Ah, oh, hey, no, 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 I ain't going in there. He can't make me. Jeez, Pete, it smells pretty bad. It's just a smell. I ain't talking about the smell, dagnabbit. Can't you hear it? They're whispering. I hear it all the way down in that dead burn gutch. But, what, whispering? I worked here for a spell. Quick, because the other fellas all went funny in the head. I was talking about a voice they heard whispering to them. Never heard it myself too now. You stay the hell out of there if you know what's good for you. Well, what's it say? Can't make it out that clear. Ain't nothing good, I reckon. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I know I gotta go back to dirt water, actually, because I got that, uh, I got that murder pepper that the dude wanted. You know, the one with a knife that stabs people that ask dumb questions. So I'm gonna head back there and probably get distracted along the way. Your booze sense alerts you to the presence of a rock. Confused, you move the rock, and sure enough, there's a bottle of booze behind it. Oh! Cheap tequila. You afraid for a second that your booze sense had been replaced with some kind of rock sense? <laughs> God, thank God. What a waste that would be. Although, in, you know, Spongebob's world, I suppose a good boulder would get us across the lands better than a gorse. But that's a bit of wishful thinking, I guess. Still haven't found a cactus lady for you, Bill. Sorry, no, I just... I like talking to you, man. You make me feel good. Now, let's see. Where w where did he need the ghost pepper? That would have been in the bar. It was the dude in the, in the kitchen, right? Memory serves me correctly. Let's head back over here real fast. I w and I don't know how to fix that piano player, either. Did you find me a murder pepper? Yeah, here it is. Ah, oh, nice big one. That'll last a while. Good going. Okay, so if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. I ordered a new saute knife, but I haven't got much time to go fetch it myself. Here's the key to my post office box. P.O. Box 441. Oh, that would be, uh, just adjacent to here, right? I figured out what to do in here. Oh, right, yeah, no, that's what I do in here. Yeah, that's definitely what I do in here. That feels good. Okay, I just had to check in for a bit. What do I need to fix him? Oh, it's the needle. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for a while. You open the hatch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong given all the plinking and springing and clicking noises coming out of the gears and stuff. I see what's wrong. You recalibrate some strings and rearrange some gears and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. Well, all right, that was easy. Let's go tell him the, uh, the job is done. Anything I can get for you? Uh, fix the piano player for you, buddy. Yeah, I thought she was so much better. Thanks, you eat bear. And offer you a free room in exchange, you already got one. All right. Okay, that was fully uneventful. Wow, yeah, we've been putting that off for a while, and now... Well, I expected, like, you know, Satan himself to emerge from the fixed piano player and start to wreak havoc on the land, but I suppose maybe that was a little bit... a little bit too uh, presumptuous of me. Yeah, I forgot about that, too. <laughs> Goodness. This is just a bar full of wonders. Uh, insult yourself. Oh, right, yeah, that makes me angry. I shouldn't do that anymore. If it gets higher than level two, I'll pass up from... Okay, careful. Careful, dude. Use my binoculars. Don't see anything you didn't already know about. Okay, let's go ahead and get back on the map. I could head up to the... Uh, I think the... Well, the humming cave is good, although I think I've already done most of what is to uh, be found up there. That was for the rescue mission, right? Let me talk to... Uh, let me talk to Pete real quick, just to check in and make sure there's not anything more here in the uh, dirt water I could do. Am I forgetting about anything? Humming cave and get all right. Yeah, the purple grass that the nun wants in the humming cave. That's right. Let's just check in again. Put go to the post office for the knife. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Professor five chunks of a vibrato scrap. Uh, also told them I'd retrieve their relics. Lazy dude ranch old style military cap from Fo Fort All Dead. I've already gotten that. Let me check. Old style hat. I don't think so. I've got a couple of old things, but not quite the ones I'm looking for. All right. Let's go to the uh, post office before I get distracted again. Grab this knife and then just go right on back into the chef. So I'm sure that'll help us out. Uh, you find P.O. Box 441, the one that belongs to the chef at the Jewel. Open it up. Uh, torn a junk mail falls out to reveal the knife just sitting loose in the box. Saute knife. Back to the chef. Let's do it. You have anything for me? Nope. All right. We're checking in. Yep. Back on in now. You know what? Let's sell a bunch of our shit first while I'm here. While I'm here. I know I've got this effluvious emerald to sell for 500 meat, which is quite nice. Uh, let's sort by... I guess sort by new would probably be okay. All those unrefined meat nuggets and then, uh, spit-soaked pants I am equipping right now. I don't know... Oh, that's a consumable. Okay. Anything else I want to just toss away right now? A handful of loose teeth will help me out and then... Well, I got a bunch of other shit, too. Just 
wish there was like a quick way to sort. I, again, I wish like a sell all junk option existed. Seems like it'd be really nice for this game, but I suppose that's part of the uh, inventory management is figuring out what shit needs to be dumped off and what doesn't. All right, here we go. Finishing this line of thought real quick. You got my knife? Here you go. Yeah, this will work a lot better than that hammer I was using, I bet. I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I used to have this recipe for a very secret jerk sauce, but my jerk friend Dave J. Stop fucking J Dave J. Then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. You want, you want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. You're awfully nonchalant about it. All right, so this went from deliver a saute knife from a P.O. box to dig up my best friend's dead corpse. I guess. Sure. We got a new uh, location for that? He didn't really give me much info about it, did he? In fact, did he give me the info I need for it? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, tell me where the corpse is first before I just start digging aimlessly in graveyards. Uh, not yet. He's just not gonna tell me, huh? Well, where's the- oh, Dave Yard. Duh. Duh. The Dave Yard. Where all the Daves are buried. Even the shitty ones, I guess. Especially the shitty ones, maybe. Davy J. Perhaps, perhaps Davy Jones. Dig up the shovel. Ra pa pa pow! You dig up the grave and pry open the coffin. And instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Strange. You reach into the garbage bag and are surprised to find that it's full of pudding. No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and reach a sodden lump from the bottom. You unglob the wad and dry it off and wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This better be worth it. I mean, I'm pretty used to sticking my arm in nasty things by now, aren't I? Dave's secret sauce recipe. Oh boy. Oh boy, you know what I need to do as well? I have been ignoring, like, these base level stats. Let's go ahead and spend a few here. Let's do, like, uh, a couple of levels of mysticality, actually. Even though I really want to keep upgrading and use the old bean as well, because that just gives a massive boost to it at a base level. And maybe I want to even just focus more on using potions, food, and drink to boost these stats throughout the course of a day. That definitely seems like a good idea. In fact, I should probably, like, use potions now if I have them. Do I have some potions? One additional action point. Ammonia crystals. I wonder what would happen if I... Oh, I guess it probably won't let me uh, eat anything extra, right? I wonder what would happen if I try. Give it a shot. You can't eat that because you're already too full. Level up your grit. Okay. All right, then. So what would constitute a potion? Probably not cheap whiskey. A can, a can of kerosene. Love to go ahead and boost my stats with that. I guess not. Anything else to do in the Dave Yard, by the way? Is there perhaps uh, something I missed last time? Let's, let's go check out the... Uh, is this a sepulcher? Is that correct terminology? Graveyard enthusiasts out there. Some kind of ritual. Oh, perform it. According to that gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and a glass sphere. You don't find any glass spheres. I'm only missing one thing. Oh, shit. Well, I'll have to come back to the Dave Yard once I've found a glass sphere then. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize we had this sort of option available. Okay. Uh, open... Let's go ahead and fight a skeleton, too. Why not? We're here. I haven't used my massive bean golem in a while. That's always satisfying. And then... 20 spook. I bet I can kill this guy outright, can't I? Yes, I can. That's all me. Suck it, skeleton of Dave Dumont. It's 11 experience for me. I could probably handle a bunch of these guys, couldn't I? I could probably get some experience pretty easily this way. Let's try it out. Boost my mysticality. Start one shot in these mofos. Kablamo. Boom. And then Pete is, oh my god, nearly even capable of one-shotting them himself. No effect to me. Wow. Oh my god. I'm feeling pretty strong now. How much experience is that? 33! That's a good amount. I can level up my base stats like that. I would grind here for a while were I not interested in uh, proceeding further in the story. So let's, let's do that very thing. And let's go ahead and head back. Having accomplished the Dave Objective. A bastardization of Dave Yard and Objective. You come across the corpse of a cowboy. How do you know it's the corpse of a cowboy? Well, you see by his outfit that he is a cowboy, and you see by his lack of flesh that he is a corpse. Take his stuff and also his bones. Ruthless. 
Dang, Bear, you're not really the sentimental type, are you? Thick chaps and skeleton bones. Nope. Those are useful goods, sir. And I will be taking them. Thick chaps, plus one armor. Not all that great, actually, unfortunately. Let's get back. Oh, yeah. Salute. Here we go. Dug up your friend's corpse and I found a uh, bag full of pudding and motor oil. My friend. You got that recipe yet? Yeah, I got it. Thanks a million, buddy. Now my stop will be world famous. Let me give you a little something for all your trouble. Fell in the stuff, but it's still good. All in a day's work. 11 experience for digging up that corpse. That was maybe not, maybe not even worth it. Plus three mysticality. I suppose it's slightly better. We'll take that. We'll take that. I like that look, too. I'll fit right in here now, don't I? Yes, sir. I ain't got nothing else for you to do. If you want some of my world-famous slop, you can buy some just like anybody else out in the saloon. Don't treat me like I'm some riffraff out here, some plebeian. I dug up your buddy and got your recipe, okay? And I deserve to be treated with the amount of respect that commands. I haven't been in here in a while either. Hey, I just want to say hi. Yeah, I got her those, those teeth, that's right. Oh, these are, okay, so these are X'd off, which means, ah, we got missions back here, don't we? The Potemkin Gang. For unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations, last seen in an unregistered settlement north of Dirtmouth. Water. Sorry, old habits. Poster shows the location of the suspicious city these guys are hiding out in. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and check that out. Sounds fun. You note the location and resolve to bring these unlicensed builders to justice. The Potemkin Gang's hideout. What about this one? Lots of criminals around these parts. The Black Hat Bandits for horse theft and the selling of counterfeit glue. Last seen headed north toward the old, old millinery. No good can come of criminals with access to hat-making machinery. Would you like to go investigate? I mean, yeah. You mark the location of the millinery, millinery on your map and spend some time say, saying millinery over and over. Millinery, millinery. Millinery. It's a good, it's a good word. It's satisfying when you say it out loud. Millinery. All right. That's a couple fun new locations. Let's go check those out, shall we? We still got those, uh, that unfinished business. A couple of, the uh, quests we got, as Pete reminded us, but I have no issue just continually getting distracted. You find an abandoned crate with Fort All Dead stenciled on the side. Maybe the shippers decided it wasn't worth the effort considering. Sure. Ooh. Can't let taxpayer funded material go to waste, after all. Three hardtack military whiskey. Ooh, what's the, ooh, an artillery saber. Back on the trail, soldier. Yes. What is this? What is this? I keep opening the wrong stuff. Plus six pistol attack damage. What? Wow. Holy crap. That is, that goes in my offhand? Yes. Or my, my main hand, I guess. Yeah, this would be my offhand, wouldn't it? Oh, goodness. I'm pretty damn sure that's what I need to take, right? Yeah. I'll sacrifice the spell damage. That seems pretty damn good. Hats! Get your hats! You walk into the mill and arena, find five bandits lounging around on big piles of half-made hats. It's the law! Skedaddle! The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Scooby-Doo style. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. <laughs> five hat rooms and three crates full of brims. Full to the top with brims. Filled to the brim with brims? Didn't want to didn't wanna throw that easy one in there, no? These hats look like they're more comfortable to sit on than to wear. This was apparently the demo model from a player piano showroom. It only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain, and they're all set up to play just the first few seconds on a loop. The people who worked here must have hated it. Uh, let's go to public domain Joe. Isn't that whistling you hear? Okay. This is a great soundtrack for this hat room number one. Oh. You can hear that playing out the other room. That's great. So many brims, so little time. Is this where they're hiding? Nope. Whoa, what? The bandit unceremoniously dumps you outside and walks back in, making that dusting off their hands gesture like a cartoon. Huh. Oh no, he's back! They scuttle back into their rooms, okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go into the office room. Oh yeah, pick that lock, absolutely. The remaining bandits will corner you if you go in there now. Better take care of them first. I see. Hmm. Now, wait a minute. Is there something fishy here? Am I looking out for, like, is one of these hats gonna move or something? Hmm. Even more brims. Brims, brims, brims. What am I... What am I trying to figure out here? 
There's a mystery afoot. Five rooms. Maybe I should ask Pete. I bet Pete knows what's up. What's going on with this, pal? Them bandits hold up an old hat makers. It's a rat friendly place for a hat out. Maybe they robbed a cargo wagon on its way to the National Fancy Hedge for pastry. That, that doesn't seem real. But it, then again, nor does this place. Okay, uh, let's go in here, I guess. How do you do this? Here's a box of dents. You don't know much about hat making, but you know this doesn't make any sense. Oh, the... <laughs> the dents on the top of the hats? Need a box full of those. That is... That is an empty box, I would, I would presume. Liners. Yeah, I'm starting to be filled with a bit of disbelief here. Squatchies? These are parts for some weird kind of hat you'd never wear. Wait a minute. I heard sleeping. Audio cue? Over here? Hmm. Otherwise, I don't really know what it's trying to tell me. Yeah, this isn't working. Advantage, okay, yeah, Dustin got the, 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 the... What in the world now? What am I missing with this? Nothing else on this side. I'm not just supposed to guess, right? That would be ridiculous. They all just scuttled back into their rooms. This is, uh, very strange. So wait a minute. What did I miss with any sort of conversation that I had? I wonder if they're going in like a pattern. Like bam, bam, bam. Nope, clearly not. Oh, god damn. I'm gonna just leave this place. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. Let's go check out the Potemkin gang. Maybe I'll fare better over here. What's up with you, pal? No entry. All right. Yeah, I figured they wouldn't be friendly. Where the hell are some sly fellas? This bandage go? Dressing out of that black suspectable, folks. Assuming we got the right place. We ran them up and we checked their IDs. <laughs> this is a real jail. Visiting hours are over and runs to stop. He does not want me to participate in this. Non-fake horses. <laughs> oh, okay. Genuine TNT and sandwiches. Town hall for an actual town. The bandit looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. You look near the bar? Oh, good idea. Oh, look there. Let's go find out. Is that where you lost it? I lost my belt buckle. Didn't find it here. Let him go. Uh, okay, so we're trying to like, we're trying to, we're trying to get behind the scenes here, right? Don't go in there. It's haunted, he says. No entry. Well, shit. Okay. So maybe I just got to get like as far away from this guy as possible and then try to go into a place. We can scare them away. Bar's closed for piano repair and runs over to stop you. Oh, goodness. We got these riddles going on with these new places, man. That I have no idea what the hell it's asking me about. Did you look near the sandwich shop? You're not ever going to actually find it, are you? Are we just supposed to, like, put you guys in the, in the right spots here? Every time I try to go somewhere, he just jumps in front of me. What in the world is going on with this stuff? Pete, what the hell do I do, man? Round him up we'll check that. What am I forgetting about? What the hell do I do? What is going on with this? I'm so confused. I got these two new locations. I have no idea what the hell they're asking me to do. Pick a random one of nine boxes and then just move these guys around for absolutely no reason. Did you look near the town hall? It's just where you were. Dude, I got no idea what the fuck's going on here. I'm just going to go back to the map. Let's go blow up the railway camp. At least I know what the hell they want me to do. Oh, well, hold on. A streak of fire is blasted across the sky. This is easy enough to distract me with. You ride to the side of the impact and find a meteor. Oh my god, another meteor. Wow. The, pe the pick melts from the heat of the meteor, unfortunately. The heatier, I got you. Another stardust. Damn. Well, okay, that's... Well, you know, before I go to the railroad camp, actually, let's go... I think I tried to go get that purple grass already, if I recall correctly. But let, let me go... Give that one more try in the humming cave. See if I maybe have the resources to get through this now. 
find out. A greenish human shade cloud of writhing smoke wafts toward you, moaning and whispering. Given the smell, you'd guess that someone ate way too much Limburger cheese and then burped so hard they blasted out their soul. Fight it! An odor geist! That's pretty terrifying. Let's go ahead and summon my bean golem. Shocking, I know. Boost the mysticality. Get a bunch of fire damage on that thing. 17 with the lantern. No problem. Swamp shower! Oh, it whiffed. Easy. You destroyed an intelligent belch. The whole world owes you thanks for your effort today. Bit of ectoplasm for that. You're not sure what part of the ghost this is. Probably best not to think about it. Nice armor boost for the day. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, I've already been in here as well, haven't I? That's right, yeah. The pattern in front. But there was no purple grass. What did we have in here? Oh, yes, the portal. But... Don't we have... A new item to interact with us now? Did we get... Oh, we got the item. That's right. Okay. Oh, man. I am getting totally lost and confused. <laughs> there are so many different objectives that I've collected all at once that I'm getting them all mixed together in my head now. Let's just... Let's just get out of here. Go back to the railroad. That's that's what I where I know what's going on. Go take care of business down there. Let one more thing distract me, I'm sure, as I wander down this way on the map. Someone's left a bundle of dynamite on the ground. Well, that's convenient. Thanks. All right. Speaking of dynamite, we got a lifetime supplies worth. Let's go right here and utilize it, shall we? Please and thank you. I have been waiting for this. Any luck finding a here supply of dynamite? The passenger's getting restless. Here you go. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges, and I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults with the other workers, and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks, and wires up a detonator. All right, let her rip. Don't, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. Great, great, yeah. All right, well, there it goes. What? Oh, no. The surveyors didn't say anything about a crazy rock monster. Quick, you're the protagonist. Do something about it, huh? Yeah, you know what? I could probably handle this. I've got a large-ish bean golem. There's a very large and very angry-looking thing guy standing here. Apparently, it's a little peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. Magic it away. You still your breathing and squint until you can make out the rock monster's aura. As you expected, there is a web of cracks and faults in it where the creature's energy was disrupted by the force of the dynamite. You point your finger at the weakest part of the damage and channel a little magic into it. The monster's aura shatters and the rocks drop lifelessly to the ground. You blow a little smoke from the tip of your finger and put it back in its holster. All in a day's work. Easy peasy. I had exactly the requirement for that. That feels pretty good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend some more here. Upgrade perhaps my grit, gumption, and glamour. Let's bump our liver capacity so I can go ahead and pop another alcoholic beverage. And then 65 experience left. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with a little bit more muscle, I'd say. There we go. All right. Feels good, man. Well, now that is the finest day's works I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this here track laid down and head out now. Here, I'll mark our road on the map for you in case our paths happen to cross again. New map location, the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company Camp. But can't I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ah, just kidding. Of course, you don't. Every seat on this train sold out. <laughs> These people. Ungrateful assholes. Oh, no. All right. Well, the remains of your triumph over that crazy rock pile slash guy. I kind of wanted to fight him, truth be told. Part of me is regretting magicking him away. This is a little bit of a cop-out with that 20 mysticality. Hey, Pete. Got a little lonely here pretty quick, didn't it? I'm sure there's something else. Nothing much to see here now. Well, I mean, there's got to be something, right? Nothing? Just a bunch of cactuses to prick myself with. Yeah, okay then. Blew open the, uh, the map here. Oh, yes. So it looks... Logically speaking, I'd assume that we just blew up our connection to the middle area of the map. And then eventually we'll have to, like, construct a bridge to cross the river to get over here to this last third in the desolate, lonesome coast. Well, all right then. Let's head over to the railroad camp real quick. 
As you're riding along the dusty desert trail, you feel a change in the air. This area is thick with mystical bean energy. You orient your mind along the axis of the powerful magnetic bean field and follow it to a cave. A sign out front reads, The Great Garbanzo's Secret Hideout. Fellow bean wizards, welcome! Oh! That's me! Hi, Pete. Gee, there's a man eat far from here what I bet you'd like to see. Well, uh, is there something strange about it? Hey, yep. I ain't gonna spoil it, though. <laughs> Soup stock low. What do you think we should do next? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for the reminder. I'm getting in here. Unless you are the Great Garbanzo. Well, I am the Great Garbanzo in my mind. Search it. All-purpose beans on the sofa. Thank you. Much of these books are too fragile to touch, but there's one that looks like it's in decent shape. Beans Illustrated. Teaches you how to cook advanced bean dishes and make bean iron cookware. Master cookery. And it was fragile enough to crumble as soon as I used it. All right. Oh, shit. Well, hold on. Before I uh, look at that obvious... Oh, I did notice this, by the way. The white hair perk is unfortunately a negative one. It loses me moxie, so I gotta be ca careful about the uh, necromancy here. Uh, what? Was that a skill that I just unlocked? I thought that was a skill. Oh, Master Cookery. Here we go. Preternaturally good cook. Could be a supernaturally good cook soon. I, I am wearing the chef's hat, after all. You approach the arcane oven and prepare to ply your mystical trade. Ooh. You gaze at the all-purpose beans and imagine the things you can make with them. Neat. Uh, let's do thinking beans. The beans simply become the dish. You are very good at this. You don't have any bean iron or any all-purpose beans. So there's not much you can accomplish with an arcane oven right now. Okay, that's cool. More all-purpose beans. All right, well, we can make another one then. You sense a deposit of bean iron. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe. Man, this is awesome. Let's do this one. Plate of black beans. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That is a cool place to find. All right, I can get some uh, big boosts with this stuff. I've got more space with the liver as well right now. I could probably go ahead and pop a military-grade whiskey or something like that. What do I want to use here? Is this... all? Oh, this is a potion, I bet, right? Reduces our mysticality and moxie. Boosts the speed, though. Drink the chicory. That is indeed a potion. Okay, cool. There we go. Alright, that's a bit helpful, I suppose. We'll have to come back here as soon as I find another uh, pickaxe as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop back on, Gorse, and let's go check out Soup Stock Load. Oh, you know, this spot looks a mite familiar. Think I came this way when I spent these months kind of wandering around in the days. What'd you want? When you want? When you what? Oh, when I what? That's a story for another time. Pretty sure I carved my initials on one of these rocks, though. Yeah, uh ha! -huh. Shows you a boulder with OP chiseled into the side of it. Your initials are OP? What do they stand for? Hood P! Oh, yeah, of course. Pete has grown stronger. Easy enough. Car is overflowing with savory tailings. Hey! Not bad, not bad, not bad. How much experience we got right now? Probably enough to go for another one of these levels here, right? Yeah, let's boost that mysticality up to 20 again. Seems like a nice even number. Level 1 of super stock load. Search him. Can of oil, thermos of spiked coffee, and a lodestone ring. Plus 20% to meat gains. That's not bad. I do kind of like this one still, though. Those boosts are nice. Oh, I need lock picking too, damn. Do have a needle for that dough though, right? Pot of boiling soup, I don't have a suitable vessel. Still need one, uh-huh. Okay, might have to come back to this one, I guess. Search the knapsack, a cultist mask. Spooky white mask with plus six mysticality, damn. Well, yeah, obviously gotta put that on. Oh, okay. hey, that's a good look. They left here in a hurry. Diary under a crude pillow here. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear I can feel it getting into my pores. If I went to a doctor for a blood test, he'd probably tell me my blood is tomato, basil, bisque, or whatever. We finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master, but it turns out the dang soup table is higher than we thought. We spent 90% of our time bailing this stuff out and only 10% digging. I got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. Now the damn elevator's busted. It was always making a rattling noise and the guys off shift couldn't sleep, but finally stopped. But it stopped because the elevator itself stopped and we can't move at all. Why did we even set up camp here? I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacement 137, 59, and 23 pound compression springs for repairs. We'll install them tomorrow. Boss says we're giving up here and heading into a real deep mine they found up northwest. 
It's a shame we wasted all this work, but hot damn, it'll be good to get away from this soup. I'll never eat soup again in my life. Got the springs installed proper like with the strongest beyond the shortest bolt and so on, but there's no time to wrench everything down. We've got a pack. Not like the elevator matter, matters much anymore down here. I really hope I don't screw up again and forget my diary here when it's time to leave. I don't think I've ever managed to fill in more than 10 pages in the same diary. <laughs> I have to fix it. Three different size bolts on the side of the elevator that are all very loose. There's a sign that says 3,200 pounds of pressure required and some sort of gauge which currently reads zero. I need a wrench. I need to do some math there, it seems, too. Well, that doesn't bode well for me. All right. Well, unfortunately, a lot of confusion in this episode of uh, West of Loathing today, but here at Soup Stock Load and crushing through the railway it means that we've uh, got a lot more opportunities to get even further confused. I'm going to have to try to seek out some points of clarification here and figure out what I'm not uh, understanding about these other areas over here in the east. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching this episode of West of Loathing. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video as well if you did. Appreciate that a lot, and I'll see you next time.